foolish mortals. Now we could have gone to the fucking workstations and save stations and all that shit between episodes, but you know what? I didn't want you guys to miss out on the glory that is exploring this game. Look at this. It's like a lot of candles. Isn't this like an oxygen-rich atmosphere? Can you have this many open flames in it? I mean, uh, I don't know what the fucking oxygen content of the fucking air in here is. It's, I assume I it's just I assume normal it's air. Standard space station -y shit. I don't I thought well, that's why you can't smoke on a spacecraft. Oh, no, you don't do that because... Yeah, you like my line gun? <laughs> <laughs> you want another one? What this thing doesn't have any. There we go. I don't think it was done. Yeah, I think you're right. Killed. Look, it's got like gross priest robes. Cool. Yeah. It also um, died in rap album cover pose. These <laughs> These things. Are these these religious nuts fucking want this shit, man. They want to turn into fucking necromorphs. Even knowing what that means, they want it. I don't know. It sounds like, according to all the shit on the floor, they were hiding from these things. Nope. They wanted it. Okay. Damn it, Strauss. What are those in the case? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Let me, uh, sell some junk real quick and then we'll find out to get the bronze semiconductor. Why would. What? Because <laughs> it's made out of bronze. I don't know, man. There's ruby semiconductors. Like, it doesn't make sense. Alright. Yeah, alright. Okay, we need some fucking. We need some plasma cutter ammo pretty bad. Let me grab a few of these. Okay. I'll cover it for now. And, okay. You meant these? Yeah. I don't know, some kind of weird-ass mask? More candles? <laughs> yeah, this is candle storage. These fuckers really like their mask. goddamn candles. This fucking advertisement for their books or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, like, I think this is pretty, like, Scientology-inspired, the whole thing. Hmm. Okay, let's... Uh, diversify our per portfolio a little bit here. I hope Scientology doesn't unleash anything as nasty as the fucking necromorphs on us. Yeah, I mean, other than economic devastation. <laughs> Whatever, man, we deserve that. <laughs> and imprisoning people who go against their will. <laughs> Whatever, man, they deserve that. <laughs> you think you'd ever sign up for Scientology? Ah, uh, shit, no. I mean, if, like... Because the only reason anybody signs up for it is... I don't sign up for religions that are free. I'm not going to sign up for one I have to fucking pay well, for. Well, the thing is, like, they... The reason... The only reason why anybody signs up for that shit is because they promise you success, you know? They promise... You know, like, if you're an actor, they promise you that they're going to use their connections well, to get your acting career to either take off or, you know, get back on track. It's unfortunate for them that I have zero ambition. Bullshit. Why do you think we're doing this fucking internet show? I don't know. I was if bored. A, if a fucking Scientologist walked up right to you, like, tomorrow and was like, Hey, man, you want your YouTube channel to get, like, a bajillion fucking subscribers, like, right now? I'd give them your phone number. <laughs> you fucking bastard. <laughs> you dirty motherfucker. You're gonna make me make the decision. Yep. Asshole. Oh man, what's that sound? That was the creepy shit sound. It sounded like you heard motion in a Metal Gear Solid game. Oh uh, man, I think I remember this. <laughs> you can't. Do you remember every room? No. Do you have like a traumatic, I don't remember like, most memory of, this game. of all this? Yeah, I think uh, coming up close is the part where I stopped playing this game. Really? Yeah, not necessary. I mean, I I beat it the first time. I mean, I I've beaten this game. But the first time I played it, I quit. Not too long after this, I think. And then, at a certain point, I was like... It always happens to me with Dead Space, where like I'm playing the game, and then at a certain point, I get stressed out and I stop. And usually what happens after that is I sit around, you know, waxing poetically about how awesome Dead Space is, that I'm like, you know what, man, I'm just gonna suck it up and beat this fucking game. And then I do. Mm -hmm. I haven't done that with Dead Space 3, though. I have not beaten that game. Better get shit together. We're almost done with this game. What do you think's coming after it? Well, yeah, I was thinking maybe I'll finish it on the show. All right. I mean, I'll start it over, obviously, but yeah. Nah, we could just use your old save file. I got more than halfway through the game. I do remember that through the Dead Space Three. Ah, oh, crap! It's converting them. Stop it! Stop it! Bam! No. Is it the only one? No, there's more shit down at the bottom. I think. I think this is like a huge room full of shit, and they're like really tight. Hmm. Uh, okay. Let me see. 
I'm gonna ditch this. So I need to pick some of the shit up on the fly here. Oh, crap. Where is it? And to, to the right. They don't take long to get to work on these things, huh? No. Nope. So, uh, one of these things is stab that dude that woke you up at the beginning of the game? Or is that a different necromorph? It's the same type of ne necromorph. I don't know if it's the exact same one. Well, yeah, not the same one. No, that's the same type of thing that stabbed the guy at the beginning, yeah. Okay. Well, that guy changed a lot quicker. Does it work faster on living bodies? Mm, no. I actually didn't know that you could do it on living bodies um, until that. Uh, I think... Uh, he turns these things at about the same pace as that guy was turning, but for some reason, I don't know. I think it takes about the same time. I don't know. It only takes like a like 15 seconds or so. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that guy did turn a little bit quicker, but I don't know. So I think the reason why this was a huge problem for me when I did it, this was the part that I think stressed me out too much in the beginning. The problem was that I didn't recognize the sound of them turning... The bodies, uh, so, so I got a lot more. So than rather than running in here, like you know, man mode and being the true Isaac Clark and just murdering the shit out of them instead before the of, problem got any worse, instead of screaming, oh hell no, and then tromping down the stairs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of that, I uh heard the sound, it was like, oh, <laughs> who's there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was like. But uh, because I knew what was happening this time. Not necessarily because I fucking remember every specific detail of this game. Because I haven't played it in like four years. Like but... every other room you walk into, you're like, I remember this room. Well, like I get not remembering nondescript hallway. With I have a vague recollection of what it. What is that, like a macaroni picture of that guy's head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the world's biggest, like, religious macaroni art thing. <laughs> cool, I don't have to use the plasma cutter in this game to break those. Why even have tools? Right. Is this where I'm supposed Says to? Says the engineer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Is, yeah, you were up here. This earlier. is back where I was. Okay. Now I just unlocked the shortcut, I guess. I guess. So I well, guess I remember. Back. I remember like being stressed out in certain parts of this game. I don't remember what actually happened. Like I didn't remember that there were a bunch of those fucking. Necromorphs that turn dead bodies into necromorphs. I didn't remember that. I just remember there was a bunch of shit going on. But as soon as we got in there, I heard that sound. I recognized it as those fucking, you know, morphers, and then went in there to fuck them up. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what's in here. <laughs> I saw that fall down. I was like, nah. <laughs> Save me like gun. <laughs> what is this? Hello. What? What is this? Away. Don't know. Parish hall. Indoctrination, indoctrination room. Where I think you're in the indoctrination room. Uh oh. Yeah, the observation center's closed. Ah oh, man, do I have to carry this to something else? Probably. Fucking damn it. Except now you can't open the door that you came in through. Uh. Right. I don't know. Hold on. What the hell? Yeah, rip that panel off. There we go. There's there gonna be there. a new key. In ah, there. okay, yeah, we can put it in there. Get the fuck out of the chair. It's my chair now. I'm gonna use that. But first... <laughs> uh. Okay. Line racks. Yeah, they give you a lot more line racks in this one. Good. Yeah, it is really good. No, no, no. You wanna put that one back where you found it. Fuck. <laughs> You gotta put this one over hole. here. And then you pull the one out you just uncovered. And put it... And I don't know if there's... Yeah, up to the top. Ha. Huh. Right up there. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. It corresponds with the door on the thing. Yeah. Alright. Well, great. <laughs> and now it's all dicked up, but, you know, you can stay... Yeah, I'm glad I'm whatever. a fucking engineer, because if I wasn't, this would be a huge problem. Well, you wouldn't have known the tear-off thing... Yeah. To get at the oh, batteries. Had even huger problems. Yeah. Oh shit! Whoa! Oh god damn it! Damn it, Isaac! No! Oh, 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 god. Oh, oh. Okay, you see what I'm talking about, man? This is why I like Dead Space, alright? Because, like, in those other fucking scary games that everyone fucking liked, like Amnesia and Outlast and all those games, you can't fucking do anything. I know. 
The game is designed so that you're a useless piece of shit. That's where they derive their terror. Which is stupid. It's false terror. God, I did this too early. You're fine. Just be patient. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Can't be that hard to do. That's fine. It's fine. It's just suicide. We're all fine. <laughs> Most of us are pretty easy to kill. <laughs> anyway. In fucking Dead Space, it's all... It's still fucking scary and tense and there's all this stress, but it's like... You know, you're not... Completely incapable of doing anything. Yeah. Which is why I like it. Because, like... Like, for example, there's a lot of situations in, like, those outlasty type games where... There's like a monster behind you or whatever, a bad guy behind you. And the tension comes from you trying to shittily, like, turn a fucking valve while the guy comes up behind you. They don't really do that in Dead Space. It's always like you got to shoot, like, something to, you know, chop something's arm off and then beat it to death with it yeah. or something. Well, in both cases, you're cornered. And in this situation, you're doing the fight reflex. And in the other game, like Outlast, it's a flight reflex. Yeah. They just kind of go different routes to make you, uh... to exploit the same stress. Yeah, Oh. Hello. My hallucination is trying to stab me in the eye. <laughs> See, this is why I left you. I'm gonna make my foot hole up your ass. Oh, right. It was all in my head. Just, uh... Put this put mask back, back on. on. And back to shooting things with industrial machinery. <laughs> <laughs> 